Where are bacteria? Bacteria are everywhere. In the soil, in the air, on your skin, and in your body. And they're tiny. In fact, they're about 0 .000002 meters in diameter each. You can only see them with a good microscope. Scientists estimate that there are around 30,000 species, but in fact, there could be up to 10 million. Some bacteria actually help you. They protect your skin from bad bacteria, help make yogurt, and serve many other functions useful to you. You even have bacteria in your intestines that help you digest your food and make vitamins. Physiology of bacteria. So what are bacteria anyway? There are many differences among the various kinds of bacteria, but all of them have a few things in common. All bacteria are made of a single cell. They aren't animals, plants, or fungi, but they belong to their own group, the prokaryotes. Most have from one to several flagella, which are whip-like structures that help them move around. They also have pili, which are hair-like appendages on the surface of bacteria that help them stick to other surfaces. Bacteria also come in three different shapes. Bacillus bacteria are rod-shaped, coccus bacteria are spherical-shaped, and spirulus bacteria are spiral-shaped. Bacteria can also quickly reproduce by dividing themselves into two identical cells. Thus, one bacterium will become two, two will become four, four will become eight, eight will become sixteen, and soon that one tiny bacterium would turn into a whole colony of bacteria. Bacteria such as E. coli can divide every twenty minutes. In just six hours, one bacteria will divide and become more than 26,000 new bacteria. How do bacteria make you sick? For bacteria to make you sick, they have to get inside your body. Healthy skin, which covers most of the body, acts as a barrier that keeps bacteria out. But bacteria are small, and they can sneak into your body through any opening, such as your nose, your mouth, and even cuts on your skin. Bacteria make you sick by multiplying rapidly and producing toxins that damage your tissues. The immune responses your body launches to attack the bacteria also contribute to making you feel sick. White blood cells swarm to the area where bacteria are and cause what is called inflammation. Inflammation involves a widening of local blood vessels which allows fluid and immune cells to enter the site of infection. Remember that this is the immune system's normal response to bacteria and other foreign invaders. Note that inflammation can happen without the presence of bacteria, and can happen to such things such as exposure to allergens and irritants. What happens when these pathogenic bacteria manage to survive your body's defenses? What follows is called a bacterial infection, and this is most common when your immune system is weakened. When an infection causes your body temperature to elevate or rise, this is called a fever. Fevers are caused by chemicals called pyrogens, which then signal the brain, specifically the hypothalamus in the brain, to raise your body temperature. See the next video in the series called Types of Bacterial Infections to learn more about some common types of bacterial infections, their symptoms, and forms of treatment.